despite all this, Final Fantasy V is back on the menu. Our party's looking good! Holy shit! I mean... We probably could look better. <laughs> but most of it's pretty okay. I always have to double check what like abilities I actually have. But still has learning. I haven't like 100% given up on that yet. Lena has obviously two-handed. And these are my dual majors. Right. Last time... The... Idea was to... Go into Xdeath's castle again, or at least destroy the barrier. So now we we did the fight on the uh, on the flotilla, and this freaking super magic king with I don't, I don't remember his name. It's like Zephod Beeblebrox. Yeah, almost. Um, he apparently just dug a freaking tunnel from the bottom of one of his ships. Like, through the ocean floor, onto the continent? A weird, weird shit, man. If you're ready, grab the other side of this box, would you? Sure. We're off! We're, we're off? Oh, he has a fucking submarine! This is, it isn't even a tunnel! Someone told me about a tunnel! Uh, what's going on? A fleet's only a decoy. The real plan is to get to the barrier tower by submarine. Well, huh. That's kind of brilliant, actually. You expected any less? A tunnel that leads to the barrier tower has been completed. Oh, there is a tunnel. Okay. I was quite shocked when there wasn't a tunnel just then. What a nice submarine. Come on! Um. Oh, can we just sleep on the sta- on the- on the chairs? <laughs> yeah. Man, that reminds me of university. Always a good idea, just- I'm sure you're feeling pretty refreshed. I mean, Bart's, Lena, and Ferris, they're like in their 20s or like a little bit younger than that even. They're fine. Gallif, however. Fuck, man, your back must be killing you. Mine would. Get back! Oh, I thought it already was. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Come on! I'm not sure this is a good plan. Uh, Zephod Beeblebrox, whatever your name is. This is the barrier tower. Indeed! All that's left is to take it out, and the barrier will be destroyed. I'll take care of the generator downstairs. You hit the top floor and find the antenna. Find it and destroy it, I assume. You got it! I cut the power, and once that happens, you blow up the antenna! I have... A feeling we're not going to see you again. Here, you'll need this! Nice, bro! Um... I do- I do like some weed. Not necessarily before an important mission, though. What's this? With this, we can keep in contact. All right, let's move. Hey, Jeremiah, good to see you. How have you been? How was your week so far? I'm counting on you. Good luck. What happens if we... Oh. Wall Knight! How did he thrust... with an axe? I'm entirely certain how that worked. But what happens if we, like, also go down? 
Maybe there's some cool stuff down there? Then again, a level. Also, that's pretty cool. Only two more days till location? Nice. Oh, he's just actually blocking my path. Sorry. I just wanted the loot. I'm also counting the days. What's this? Traveler? That's a freaking witch on the moon. I'm counting the days. It's, uh... It's one week for me. Um... I mean, I, next week I still have to work, and then I have to work Monday and Tuesday the following week. And then I'm off work for like two weeks, thankfully. So does the freaking magnet dude do anything except for pulling? Wait. Why does... Ferris' attack hit Galov. It is nice. I'm... Uh, very much... Right now, very much in need. Ah, okay, maybe it's just because of the wall knight. Oh, he, pro he probably has wall. That's probably the problem. It just switches party row. Yeah, apparently. Poor guy. Now he has no one to defend him. Oh no! No, he attacked. I mean, he didn't do a lot of damage, but still. Still, awesome enemy design, as per usual in this game. Little guy with a ma little goblin with a magnet. I like it. Also, also Gallop got a level. Yeah, I'm eagerly awaiting my vacation. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess I can use a tent. I have a few of those. I'm not doing anything, like, interesting. Um. The first Saturday in my... In my, uh, vacation time is my birthday, though. So obviously I'm going to stream something. I haven't fully decided what yet. Um, okay, hi ghost. Staycations? I'm going, I, that's so good. I've never heard that, Jeremiah. They are, they really are. Um. Right now, I really like the idea of streaming, uh, ukulele for my birthday. I've only played that game when it came out, which by now has been, oh my god, I don't even know, like six years almost? Hey, duo, good to see you. So ukulele is definitely an idea for the birthday stream. Um, no more heroes, also still interesting. Um, yeah, I haven't fully decided yet. But right now I'm leaning towards ukulele. And again, just like last year, I'm probably going to do like a, like an eight hour stream. We'll see. Uh, probably one, actually. I'm... I like both of those games. And, uh, both of those I only played once, right after they released. Um, so obviously for Ukulele 1, it's... That has been a longer time since I last played it. And I don't know why, just... I'm, I'm craving good old-fashioned, uh, 3D collectathons lately. And ukulele is just a good one at that. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Um, golem, please. Uh, 
That fucking hurt. <laughs> oh, that also fucking hurt, though. Oh, the golem did jack shit. Ha! The golem had there, though. Jump! I have you for 20 minutes before you have an appointment. That's fine with me. I mean, obviously I would love to have you longer. That was terrible. <laughs> but I need to get whatever's in there. But appointments are uh, important, obviously. I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, I'm getting my... Like, the interior of my nose is getting lasered in a week. Yeah, that dragon really was damn. For a long time, I, I've had trouble breathing through my nose. Uh, nose? <laughs> nose. Nose. Um, so yeah, I finally went to see to see a doctor, like a specialist, and um, he said, "Yeah, we can just take a laser and like de-swell your I don't even know what's called. Pretty much like the the bloated parts." Uh, of my of my inner nose to make me breathe more good and I've been craving that it's been especially at night it's not not the best ideas not the best situations what the fuck am I going to do against you like he dr he he attacks pretty quickly I don't know if D swells the right word. Oh, what the fuck is different now? Okay. Oh no, summon. Um. This seems more manageable, honestly. It's apparently not a long procedure. It's like I'm supposed to be there for like 40 50 minutes and then I can just get home. And they said it will probably be like uh like not that great for a week and then my breathing should be fine for like 5 to 6 years. Healing the party is the best strategy. <laughs> I don't know if it's enough though. Hey business, good to see you. Yeah, I'm getting my- I was about to say I'm getting my nose lasered. Hey Davey. Um, but I'm, I'm getting the inside of my nose lasered. These bastards have a lot of HP, huh? Um, oh, that was idiotic. They, they're using lighting, I'm probably healing them right now. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting a laser nose. They're replacing my entire nose with a laser. No, I always had, or for years, I had trouble breathing through my nose. And... I finally went to a doctor about that. And now everything is just moving insanely quickly. <laughs>
Which I like, so next week that will happen. And it's just like a, a, a quick thing. I can always try... Telling myself a joke while drinking whiskey and have it come out of my nose. I want to come out of my nose! Yeah, it's, it sounds like an, an awful experience, and also whiskey's expensive. I don't want to waste it on my nose. My nose hasn't earned that privilege. Do it whenever clear! I prefer it not with Everclear. I mean, I don't know how it is in the US, but in Germany you can buy 99% um, proof alcohol in... Um, oh, what's it called? At the pharmacy. There we go. Go back and save after this battle? Oh yeah, 100%. I have no one who can use it! <laughs> I have no one who can use the blood sword. Um, I know what the difference is, business vultures, so... Probably nine, 99 proof, right? Proof is double the percentage. How can a liquid be more than 100% anything? Oh, okay, now, okay, now I gotcha. No, 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 it is, it is uh, 99%. You're pretty much buying, um, as clear as the alcohol as you can get. That's why they call it 99% not 100% because you always have like some sort of um, like a little bit of water to keep it in, I don't know, to keep it in solution. It's pretty much pure alcohol. You need to move to Germany? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Ah, oh, do I... Do I go back to the Mystic though? Can't use the blood sword. I'm going back to the mystic. Fuck it. No, he also can't use it. Wait, what? Let me just let me let me check it out. Only the knight can use it. Ten of pups that serves 126 proof rum. Sweet. That's what you use for, um... I don't know if any of you guys know, um, Feuerzangenbowle? It's a, it's a German thing, so I don't even know if there's a... There's an English word for it. It is a drink that's usually served, um... Wait, wait a second, let me make my let me make my screen big so I can hold a picture in the camera. It's a drink that is served usually around like Christmas time or winter time in general. It is a pot of red wine, usually with some spices, maybe orange juice in it. And over that is a metal like plate with holes in it. And you put um no, the important part comes now. You put a, um, a like, rock-hard piece of sugar over top, drench it in, um, in rum that has more than 50% alcohol, then you set it on fire <laughs> so that the, the rum burns, melts the sugar, and it drops down into the, into the red wine. I'm, I'm going to show pictures. You're not going... I know that you're not going to believe me. That's why I made the camera big. 
It's this. Still doesn't look that. You see, in that in that thing under there, there's red wine. And then there's just a burning <laughs> piece of sugar over top. Here's a side view. Here you can see it. You can see it a little better. Oh no, you can't see it all. Wait, fucking this demands. Let's hope it doesn't break the um the screen. The stream sound. I swear to god it's real. People do it. People act I've done it. Multiple times. With friends. There's not like one good picture of it though. <laughs> Whilst on LSD? No. It's again, I swear to Christ, it's a regular thing that you just do. Um I wasn't prepared to just like have a a picture ready. Here, let me Okay. That's not the right screen, but okay. That's not the right screen though. <laughs> There we go. That's how you do it. It is pretty close. In that picture, it's pretty close to the um, the wine and and sugar. They are pretty close to one another. I I would have like more room in between. But yeah, it's it's definitely a real thing. It tastes fucking amazing. Um, God damn it, get out of here. Um, I hope that I can do it again, like, this year. There we go, now I sorted that all out. Who came up with that? Um, it's probably... Um, it was probably uh, Fraternities. Like, college fraternities, obviously, um, in the 19th century. But we don't know for sure. Like, it's definitely a variation on mulled wine, which is very big in, in, uh, Central Europe. Wait, I didn't go back. All of the talk about, uh, freaking Feuerzangenbowle made me too excited. Might be too sweet. It's actually not that sweet, uh, Duo, because you use insanely dry wine for it. You cannot use sweet wine. You have to use a very dry wine. You have to uh, use you use a lot of spices as you do in mulled wine, and no other form of sugar. And since it gets an insane amount of alcohol content. It usually gets you also drunk pretty fast, because it's also warm, just like mulled wine. I can only- if you ever get the chance to try something like that, I can only encourage you to do it. There's a famous German movie... Um, that is called... Like the Drink. That's the same name. And... It is a tradition, like, in a lot of places. Uh... Both, like... Pu open publicly as well as just in families or like in like social circles to in when the winter time comes to watch that movie and drink that drink uh, at the same time I've done it in in uh, when I was like in my last year in high school I would do it with our chemistry teacher mold wine is the tits it's really good It has, uh, Jeremiah, yeah, it has something like 
um, how a lot of people do a lot of people do absinthe with um, with the sugar cube, just like on a bigger scale. It's like a perfect drink with the perfect Christmas movie, Die Hard. That is an absolute great idea. I haven't done it in a while. You need like a specific set, um, usually to make it, because the like piece of metal where the sugar rests on it has to be very sturdy otherwise the um the the thing bends under the heat and it cannot do that yeah jeremiah that's that's it feuerzangenbowle the metal thing is called uh feuerzange which translates to like fire tong fire tongs And yeah, it's it's uh it's pretty much like I don't I don't even know the German uh, the English word for bowler. I, it's not just bowl. It's just stuff you make in like a, a huge bowl, usually with like fruits and alcohol. It's its own whole thing. What is that music video Altus Fever even about? I don't even know what you're talking about. Like what what group or what band you're even talking about? If it's pretty new, I probably don't know it. I haven't listened to a lot of new music lately. But Germans have a long history of westerns. Um Yeah, bowl. And it just has a, an E, and that's why we call it bowl bowler. It's how we Germans do things, don't question it. <laughs> Hitler loved a good western. Hitler probably didn't, but, um... Actually, yeah, kinda. Um... One of the, one of the more famous, like, German authors is called, or was called Karl May, and he specifically um, wrote he wrote other stuff too but he mainly wrote westerns um, about a Native American chief called Vinatu and his like white blood brother Old Shatterhand yes that is that is the name the character is called Old Shatterhand um, because of the punchy packs. And... Uh, what was I about to say? No, 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 I was kind of lost in that thought. Uh, he actually, like, identified with this character of Old Shatterhand, so much so that he pretended to be that character, and when he finally made it to, like, America and the Middle East, which was the other part, um, of the world that he was mainly writing about. Um, he had a nervous breakdown because his fantasy world just collided so heavily with the real world. But his, it, they are very popular books in Germany. Um, there were some film adaptations that came out in the uh, 60s. Where Old Shatterhand was played by Lex Barker, that uh, pretty much every German person knows these movies. So yeah, your German westerns are a huge thing. About like like 20 kilometers from where I live, every freaking summer, there's a live-action recreation of one of the Vinnetou stories. The band was the Toten Hosen. I haven't heard, uh, I haven't listened to a lot of things from, um, from, from, uh, from that band. I mean, I'm sure do there are translations, but I would maybe check out the movies. They are more easily digestible. The books were written, uh, at this point, like, over 130 years ago, and they do sometimes show their age. When, um, when Quentin Tarantino was staying in Germany to film Inglorious Bastards, 
he became acquainted with the Vintage 2 movies, repeated, uh, reportedly loved them, and they've become an inspiration to do uh, a Western or a more Western in the future. And I mean, the next movie after that was Django Unchained, which has nothing to do with the Vinatu movies. Not in style, not in story, anyway, but... I mean, it's kind of a neat idea that he basically just fell in love with a piece of German, like, very German popular culture. Yeah, Hatchel, that's what I'm talking about, the Karl May Festspieler. Why did I do that? I knew it would happen. <laughs> Also, when, um, because the movies were, like, made during the Cold War and they were immensely popular in West Germany, um, in East Germany, they tried to make their own, like, Western, Western movies to compete and to just have something to offer in that regard to their own population. But, since pretty much the whole stick of uh, East Germany was uh, being like communism, co communist and very much anti-imperialist, those, um, oh, a wall ring, nice. While the, while the Vinatu movies mainly, fo mainly focus on the trope that's now called the, um, the honorable wild man, which is insanely cringy, um, Basically the idea that, like, Native Americans, due to how close they live with nature, have, like, a higher moral understanding and are more pure. Um, which is also a form of racism, by the way. Um, and the, uh, the, the Eastern Europe movies were mainly making the Native Americans, uh, the... Also, the morally good, like, freedom fighters against the corrupt and, um, like, overtaking imperialistic Western forces, because, of course, they were. And so we had, like, competing... During the Cold War, we had, like, competing Westerns. From, one from West Germany, one from East Germany. And in the... In Eastern Germany, obviously, they didn't call them Western, because it includes the word West. That's how stupid it is. Um, I don't remember what they were called. I think they were called like wildling movies. That doesn't sound right. I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Younger duo never would have thought Germany would be so fascinating until older duo became more prevalent. I mean, I'm. For me, it's just my uh, my home turf. Am I going backwards? By the way, I am. While I became more and more fascinated with uh, other parts of the world, the more I, that I grew up. I think that's a natural process. And actually, I hope it's a, na it's a natural process. It's always good to find out, like, something about... Uh, different parts, like, of the world where you're not from. Learn new things about new people and new cultures. It's always a good idea. East, I thought you said weast. It's, ki it's kind of that. Still, fun movies. I don't think I have the books anymore. Reminds you of Nosten? Yeah. That's a callback. Holy shit. I think when that gag started, Hatshot, I was still living in... Yeah, I definitely was still living in the apartment that you now live in. So holy shit, that was 10 years ago. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure we... Like, Black Wizards, Valdeck and I started it during our, like... Weekend playthrough of Seiken Densetsu 3. And then we brought it in into our The Dark Eye group. Any, any loot? No loot. 
Oh, I'm glad to be. I'm, I'm always glad to tell like fascinating stories. Damn, we need a German girlfriend now. I can, uh, I can keep an eye open if you like. <laughs> Yeah, that would be kind of awesome. I actually would enjoy the the idea of like showing people stuff about Germany that I that I just tell about on stream. I actually think that I would really like that. I would really enjoy that. Like think think about how crazy it would have been if instead of me telling you what Feuerzeug Bull is, I would have just brought it out and told you yeah we're about to light this fucking thing on fire and then drink it that would have been awesome ow don't you grabby me with your grabby hands You've seen a hostile and take. You're not traveling anything overseas for a while. Understandable. I still love about hostile that um, the the dude who made that movie basically said he made that movie because Saw was too unrealistic for him. So he made hostile. Frickin' grabby alien! Get hit! Yeah, Saul was just unrealistic, so I, I made the realistic movie, um, Hostel. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those movies in years. More fun trivia? Oh, I just pumped out a lot of trivia. Um, there are also, when we talk about like very German movies or German type movies, there was another duo, they're not German, but the movies are insanely popular in Germany that um, they're from Italy, or were, um, sadly at least one of them is dead. Um, their stage names were Bud Spencer and Terence Hill. And they started making like very, as a duo mostly, very intense and gritty like spaghetti westerns. Um, but very quickly just made like action-packed comedies with a very, very distinct style. And that's also like super popular in in German in Germany still, mainly because of how they were translated, how they were like how the dubbing worked. Because the people who were dubbing those movies uh, used a lot of like creative liberty to make those even funny movies even more funnier. All right, dude. Hope it's going to be a nice appointment, so see you soon. And since both of those were, both of those people were originally, or I mean, what, what do I mean were, um, they're Italian and they just gave themselves different, can I, can I give this to Galof? Uh, like new stage names to appeal more to an international audience and no joke Bud Spencer 
took his name from uh, his favorite actor, Spencer Tracy, and uh, Budweiser beer. Not the one that you have in the US, there's also a, I guess you would pronounce it Budweiser, um, from, um, from the Czech Republic, because there is a place there called Budweiser. That also your Budweiser takes its takes its name from. And he was just like, ah, fuck it now, I'll just Spencer Tracy and Bud. Bud Spencer. And that was his like recognizable sage name for I don't know, 50 plus years. <laughs> Freaking sleepy old Galif. Yeah, German mo movie history is very, very weird. Most German movies are pretty terrible. All oh, right, he has a wall ring now. It's actually not as good as I thought, because, yeah, right, now I can't fucking heal him. But sometimes you find some, some good ones. Mainly in the past, though. Modern German movies are kind of weird. Like, usually not that interesting. Just, I didn't even realize it, but I think only the uh, the katanas can crit. Maybe also daggers, but I think that's like the important thing, or like one of the cool things about um, samurais that sometimes they just fucking crit. Definitely one reason why maybe you want to have someone using a katana in your party. Especially when you two-hand the weapon. It's just so good. It... Unless you keep missing. I don't even remember the, the boss fight of this dungeon. I completely forgot about this part of the game. <laughs> oh, a guy a gear. But I think... Yeah, we're already wearing that, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if I will keep the, the wall ring on. It's kind of kind of a hassle to just keep playing around that. Gallif to your reach! Over! Oh, so Whisper Weed is a walkie-talkie? Including fucking walkie-talkie etiquette? What was that? The Whisper Weed. See that? See that. Repeat, Caliph. Do you copy? Over. I hear you, loud and clear. Uh, you have to say over, Caliph, otherwise I don't know when it's over. Over. Good. I've made it to the generator. Over. Everything looks all clear on this end. Over. 
Hey! I mean, there's an imp. Yeah. That was basically- I, I basically could have just done the entire Family Guy routine with the walkie-talkie, but, you know. See that? What was that? Don't worry about it. You just get to the roof as fast as you can. Over. Oh, gotcha. Uh, over. See, it's pretty much the same thing. Sweet. Oh, I have the choice. What's probably a safe point, right? Oh, no. Fuck. I knew it. Oh, no! Oh, no, the wall ring is actually terrible! Can I run? No, no, not from a chess battle. I mean, Bio does a shit ton of damage and I had a better start, but yeah, this is terrible that he just gets <laughs> Healed from it. I mean, it's great that Gallop doesn't take damage, but still, holy shit, it's terrible that it just goes back to heal him. Oh, it didn't take a lot of damage though. Nice. Oh, we got it, Lance, and we got it, Vay. We got a gold hairpin, which I I don't know what that does. Um, no, no, no. Decreases abuse my half. But who can? Who can wear it, though? Oh, it's a... It's not an accessory, it's... it's, uh... Headwear. Yeah, okay, I was like, what the fuck? Like, they just can wear it. Just give it to me. It's probably unnecessary because there's a fucking healy point around the corner, but I mean potions are so goddamn cheap um, But this has spell doom for the freaking wall ring <laughs> Yeah, just give me this back. I, I don't even care. I don't even care about that much about it uh, Two-handed is just better increase evasion is also pretty sweet though And here we got Wait, didn't we get Lansing? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's an active ability. Huh. You know what? That makes sense, but I, I actually didn't know that. It does absorb HP and MP, though. So I think it's pretty good if we go back to Mystic. Right now, I don't have equipment for Mystic, but a Mystic with the Lance ability? I don't think you need to have a Spear to use the Lance ability. And I think that would actually be kind of sick. We'll see. Just go up the other side. Level Tricker? Why is he tricking me?
I'm... These just, like... What people in the... In the 60s thought TVs would look like... In the future? It kinda looks like something from the Jetsons. Looks like a Fallout computer. Yeah! Also, it, it really looks like... Um... The Fallout... Like, drones. Except that it has a stand. Yeah, retro future. <laughs> Fucking party... Parking monitor. I read partying monitor. Which would also be pretty sweet. Yeah, okay. There we go. That would have sufficed, but again, you know what? I don't, I don't care about a few potions. Okay, I'm going to take a very quick bathroom break, as you are used by me. Use of me. And then we'll see, I don't know what boss fights await us in here. I don't remember. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see what we got. Did I save? <laughs> you know what? Let's just do it again. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, almost there. No. This is not the right place for a back attack, I'm sorry. I don't care. Super jacked guys attacking me from the back, I don't need that right now. See that, we've reached the antennae. Roger that, over. I love how he still keeps using over. Destroy the antenna! Uh, over. You forgot to say over! You think it'll be that easy? Think again! Now pay with your blood. Uh, who? A Thomas! I mean, he looks pretty sick if Ferris is dead. Oh, it's this dude! I remember him! Um... The, the idea is to pretty much have one of your characters die. So now we'll just slowly keep sucking them in and we have the time to pretty much do as much damage as we can. It sucks that he killed Ferris, because Ferris is one of my top damage dealers. But I think... As long as... Um... 
As long as one character is like being sucked in, he's not going to do more comet attacks. And if we were to revive Ferris, uh, we could run the risk of just... Um, like having him kill more characters at once and sucking us into our doom. I thought this guy came later. It's a very awesome design. And I definitely... I remember that this boss fight was somewhere in the game, but not that it was here. Come on. I'm sorry, Ferris. I don't actually recall Jeremiah. <laughs> I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's just gone from, the character's just gone from the battlefield and can't be revived. Because I'm pretty sure the first time I played this game, when I saw that, I was just like, oh, maybe this is, like, intended. It's like, um, sometimes, especially older uh, JRPGs used to do this, um, like, scripted death kind of situation, where you have to be killed and sucked in by that thing to, like, end up at the next story location. And that would have been somewhat fitting, like, being at, on top of this uh, huge-ass tower. But no, I just died. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Caesar, can you hear me? It's done. We destroyed the antenna. Final Fantasy VI, for example. Right. I don't actually recall where, but you you are right. Final Fantasy II also has one of those. Chrono Trigger also has one of those. I mean, in Chrono Trigger, you can actually win. Um, and you get a bunch of XP for that, but... Uh, it's super difficult. You're, you're not required to. Also, Seath in Dark Souls. First time encounter is a script of death. No way out! Gallop, things are getting hot down here! You need to hurry and make your escape! The energy feeds... What? The energy feeds gone into a recursive loop! It's only a matter of time before it all blows! Aw, oh, come on, don't be so hard to yourself. This game's rad. It doesn't blow. The wind drake! He can fly us out! See that? We're coming to get you! No, don't come down here! Wait for me in the sub and I catch up with you! Just go! Idiot! He's gonna die! I'm not gonna let him. Galif, it's too dangerous! I don't care! Lena, you and Ferris go ahead. I love how they... How they don't question it. Is that like, alright? We're the fuck out of here. that You knew all along something like this would happen, didn't you? You knew, and still you sacrificed yourself. Yalif, wait for me in the sub! Promise me you'll go! Over and out! Damn it, Zizat! Damn it, save hot people, Brox! Tales of Destiny for the PS1. Are you supposed to take the loss? If you somehow win the fight, you beat the game and get a secret ending. Oh, that's awesome. That's also in Chrono Trigger. Uh, like, the first time you encounter Lavos, you can defeat him and you get a different ending. I like it when games include something like that. Of course I knew. This was my plan. How could I not? But it would have been too dangerous for any of you to go in my stead. Four new warriors have been chosen by the crystals. They must be the ones to fight X death. Galuf and Bart, Lena, Ferris. The rest is up to you. Don't worry. I'll always be with you when you need me. 
and rip. I mean, this death is also... You only uh, get to know this character very shortly before this. So to me, it kind of feels like... It doesn't feel that much different than all of the deaths in uh, 2 or 4. Even though, obviously, it's played up to be a, like, a hugely uh, emotional moment. Damn it, CZ! Galif. I'm sorry. Whoa! We just freaking Mr. T'd him. Shoulder tackled him so he would go on that play with us. Arts, take me to the sub. The subway? We made a promise. Please let me keep it. I could go for some subway. Haven't had that in ages. Okay. I didn't remember that this game became like an Atari 2600 game for five seconds. That definitely did not sound like a Super Nintendo explosion. <laughs> you miss Quiznos? The thing is that, um... No other, like, sandwich chains, American sandwich chains, have made it to Europe, or at least not to Germany. So... I only have Subway, or some, like, German, like, knockoff thing, which actually usually is worse. So I could go for some... some Subway. Though I heard... It's not, like, standard procedure for Subway in the US to toast the subs? What the fuck's wrong with you? In Germany, they don't even ask. It's always toasted. Like, you're the weird one if you don't want it toasted, and rightfully so. See that, you ass! Wait. This is not... This is not a fan translation. This is the official Game Boy Advance translation. They said ass in the official Game Boy Advance translation of Final Fantasy V? I didn't remember this. The A, the A world, yeah, especially. Word even. I mean, I remember in, in Final Fantasy 3, they would say shit, but that was a fan translation, even though it was a very good fan translation. But this is... And there is... There is a very, like, well-known fan translation of Final Fantasy 5, but this ROM specifically is... Like, the Super Nintendo game with the GBA translation from the GBA release superimposed on it, so... I guess that's in the official fucking... Released. You ass. Maybe they mean donkey. Always trying to play the hero, even to the end. On the plus side, we have a submarine now. With a submarine, I reckon it should be an easy test to locate Guido's cave. Yeah, a lot easier than swimming. How's he holding up? He'll be alright. He just needs a little rest. Alright. We've got to keep moving. <laughs> I can't believe they said ass. Fucking CZ! Oh no, Fire is still dead! 
Can I... Can I sleep in the sub? Um... I guess I can't. Damn it. Gallop do something. <laughs> There we go. Okay, no, no, that's not the, the map. This is the map. We have to go, like, to pretty much the middle part where, where it's blinking. So, straight, and then north and west. Hedgehog, do you know, by the way, when the next uh, Guilty Gear Strive DLC character will be revealed? Because... Uh, this boy is eagerly awaiting that. I just thought about it today because I, uh... Shortly before the stream, I played a few matches. Also, it only takes four minutes to go online, not 15. I think it's- I think it's gone down. I think it's g gotten better, but it's- it still feels like a long time. <laughs> I think this is it. Ah, oh, here we go! <laughs> Yeah, we could have done it. Again, I'm not sorry for some fucking potions. Still. <laughs> it feels like 15. It definitely does. It feels like a long ass time. But it's not actually 15 like it was when I played uh, GTA 5 online. Then sometimes it really was just 15 minutes of waiting till you're in the game. Dark ass pick. I mean, thanks for the ass pick. No, that was the best I could have done. And yeah, I'm very interested to see. I just hope so much that the next DLC character is a character that interests me personally because. I love the game, I love playing it, but I'm, what you would say, I guess, a reluctant main. Like, I'm a reluctant Angie main, or Angie. He's not my dream fighting game character, he's just the one that is in the game that resonates with me the most. But I would love to have a character that I just, like, really enjoy. <laughs> Ah, oh, Ferris got a level now. Drop sometime this month. The yeah, I know that. Apparently the problem is... The game is pinging all servers in the region. <laughs> Why? Also today I had my first match with like... Uh, with a bad connection. With like eight rollback frames. Um, which I think is a good... Like, good all-around, um, score. That is the first time that has happened. But, man, I mean, there was some weird shit happening in that game, obviously, because the rollback did kick in quite a bit. But even that kind of was a fun experience. Way, way more fun than just, like, getting fucked over by... Uh, input delay. There's something down here? No real, not really. I don't like empty chests. It's empty, wait! This one's got a big stone inside. Oh! Okay. Put the stone in here. Yeah, okay, there we go. Get the fuck away from me, you fly. Let's take that all the way over here. Metamorph? What is he going to metamorph into? Do I want to know? 
It's delayed till next month because Gold Lewis was delayed. No. Transform! Uh. Alright. World Demon. Kind of reminds me now of the, the enemies we are fighting in, um. in Okami. <laughs> I guess we have to see them. I'm still hoping for like Slayer or some new character that fits my playstyle. But who the fuck knows at this point? Like I've also seen conflicted data leaks which I'm actually glad for because I think leaks are usually like spoiling the surprise and do more harm than good so now that I read like conflicting information about leaks I can just safely say that I don't really give a crap about those No, 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 you attack Ferris, as you do. Oh, Ferris just has not a lot of HP, that actually makes sense. I think I know what you're uh, who you're talking about, Headshot. The main villain, basically, right? He has to, he has to be one of the DLC characters. I would be shocked if... if you weren't. Oh, okay. I think I took the longest possible route <laughs> with this. Don't you... Don't you dare. Why are these ass pigs vampires? You know, why not? Why not dish out a cure to you? No! Holy shit. Having a two-handing samurai does result uh, in some, like, bad shit damage numbers. Why is it so goddamn warm again? I'm already, <laughs> already sweating again. It was nice and, like, kind of a nice all-around temperature the last couple of weeks. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I don't care for that. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh, 
No! You transformed into Shiva. A summon that I st that I still don't have. I actually apparently was at the right castle. I looked it up later. Um, I apparently was in the right castle. I just didn't go the right direction. We don't, we're definitely going to get Shiva uh, later on. I mean, she's not really that useful when we get her. Uh, but eh, why not? Yeah, there we go. I knew I saw something. Transformed into a freaking cat with wings. This thing's probably insanely cute and therefore would probably wreck my life. Ah, that actually was okay. Do you guys know it when you sometimes forget that you have games? Like in your Steam library or some bullshit? Because I just recently re-found um, in, my, in my Steam library Princess Maker 2. Which I still kind of want to stream at some point in the future. It's basically a sort of like retro anime life sim slash RPG where you manage your daughter's life from like 10 to 18 and you can also center on like quests where she gets beat up by demons but sometimes she brings home treasure I don't know it seems like a very weirdly like obviously very weird but kind of awesome concept and Uh, I mean, I do have so many games lined up for streaming, but I do like the idea of streaming that at some point. Get out of here, old man. Gave us cute sunglasses. I'm still afraid of the first, um, the first appearance of Tonberry. I don't know in which dungeon he first appears. Hi, Ramu! How nice of you to gaze us, or like graze us with your presence. When this dude transforms to Ramu, it just kind of looks like he stood up. <laughs> He's no longer hunched over. The light staff? Ah. Uh. I mean, I do like having the, uh, what's it called? The, the healing stuff. Any 
place else visitable? Well, apparently not. Oh, it's you again. I mean, I probably could kill him before he attacked, but... I think that's really necessary for most of his spawns. Right now he's having a lot of HP though. Okay, there we go. Hey, it's the turtle. Double to the pond, yes. Let's jump after the turtle. Always jump after the turtle. Huh, what's up with this turtle? Why are you hitting a turtle, Bard? Still be an asshole! Bard, stop that! Why? Dude, chill! <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun until a turtle bites your finger, man. I can tell you from experience. Because those fuckers don't let go. Would you quit that? Sweet Christmas, it's a talking turtle. Sage, I'm so sorry. Please forgive my brainless companion. Wait, this turtle? Is the sage? By the briny beard of Neptune. And you finally catch a clue. Tarnation, I can't take you anywhere. Oh, this freaking turtle. It's all right, it's all right. No lasting damage. Physically, anyhow. Oh man, I'm awfully sorry. You should be, boy. Picking on defenseless turtles. However, we have more important things to discuss. You mean next death? So, you aren't as slow as you look. What the warlock seeks is within the great forest of Moor. The forest of Moor? Trees, my dear boy, lots of them. Sprawling to the west of Surgate. That sentient forest is ex death birthplace. Right. I forgot about this part. Right. I forgot that ex death is also a kind of. He's, he's a tree. Guys, I'm sorry to, to uh, bring it to you this way. But the enemy we're fighting is basically a tree. <laughs> A certain tree in that forest had been used to seal evil spirits for years. 500 years ago, the concentration of evil turned it into a dark creature with a life of its own. That creature is X-Death. I maintained the seal on X-Death for 500 years. However, 30 years ago, the seal was broken. 30 years ago? That was when he fought the Dawn Warriors. Yes, don't interrupt. Dorgan and the others fought hard. Finally, they were able to seal the warlock with the crystals. However, somehow, he escaped. That was our fault. Aren't we feeling self-important taking all the blame, hmm? Had I meant it was your fault, I would have said that. Alright. 
See, it's not meant to be broken. It only means that this time, X death must be destroyed. He must be... <laughs> You must become X, X death. Where is he? As I said, the forest of Moor, something, exactly what I do not know, so don't ask, rests sealed within the forest that he wishes to claim. The forest of Moor. The forest of Moor and Caesar's revenge. We'll defeat Axteth. Let's do it. The forest of Moor is sentient. It does not take kindly to intruders. It will attack all who attempt to enter. Take this with you. It's a twig. Received the guardian branch. What is it? A branch from the guardian tree. That tree is what protects the seals. With that branch, you may enter the forest. Right. Now Harry, X death is already on his way to more. Right. How the fuck do we get there though? Uh, bro, turtle bro. I hate to beg, but I will. Please, go to the great forest and protect that which X-Death seeks. Do you have some loot? Apparently not. Let's, uh... Exit our way out of here. Okay, where the fuck do I go now? The west of Xizat? Xizat? Is it is it here? Like this joint? Yeah. Right. Oh, please let me in. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, your king's dead. Hate to break it to you. But the king's dead. All the beds are full! What baloney is this? I mean, we could go... Ah, I actually still want to... Keep him as a dragoon, though, I think. Because I think Dragoons have good stats. It's pretty high strength and stamina and okay agility. So mastering Dragoon doesn't seem like that bad of an idea. I mean, maybe it's time to lay the blue mage plan to rest. Because I didn't really, like, may really play for it, and I didn't get that many. Let's just see. I just want to see the land's ability. Let's use that for a while. Did we get all the spells? I think we did. Yeah. What do you mean all the beds are full? What is this malarkey?
Okay, west of this place. Land turtle! Holy shit. How long is Guilty Gear Strive story mode, by the way? Is it like four hours? I know it's pretty much just watching a movie, but uh, that's why I haven't done it yet. Why do you always give me the freaking bag attacks? Ah, you know what? Who cares? I'm not sure if I would even understand the story because I'm not really... Like with Blaze Blue, I've kept up very well. Um, even though that's also like a very convoluted story, but with Guilty Gear, I have like no clue what's going on. I pretty much know that there are artificial demons and Japan got nuked. That's the main gist of it, honestly. <laughs> oh! I can't- oh, I can't even go from here. Well, that. And one of these demons or gears feels guilty for what he did. Is that why it's called Guilty Gear? Really? Yes, it is. Fighting game stories, man. And Saul is the Guilty Gear. Okay. I thought he was a gorilla. I guess they couldn't have... They, they shouldn't have called it, like, Guilty Gorilla, so it's, it definitely is a, is a better title. That freaking... That freaking emote. Do I... Maybe go th like through on the water things in there, like there, I guess. Again, with Guilty Gear, my my story, um, my story knowledge is very very limited. There are always like there are only I feel two kinds of. of stories for fighting games. Either they are incredibly simple and you can tell they're just very, very bare bones. Uh, which is the case for like a lot of the more mainstreamy fighting games, like a lot of, especially early Street Fighter, Tekken, um, stuff like that. And then you have shit like Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear.
Getting your law is incredibly dumb, but also metal as fuck. I mean, y you have to have, like, both of those, right? So where the fuck am I going? There's nothing in here, right? I'm afraid of the deserts. This game has told me to be af taught me to be afraid of the desert. Where's... It is over there. Oh, I can probably... Oh, I should have, um gone up, probably. Like in here. Yes, there we go. Hello. Hello, more. Where are you from? Can't believe you'd come all the way out here. Legend has it that 500 years ago, they sealed something beautiful in the forest to the east. From desire of times comes evil. Is that how you talk to people? Just like a random person approaches you on the street wanting to maybe ask you where the frickin' pub is and you just go Desire of times lead to evil. What were these videos? You got access involved. Got the story content from the... There is canon story in the Guilty Gear Pachinko game? And people talk about fucking Dark Souls lore being convoluted and hidden. I'm still waiting for essential Dark Souls lore to be just in and hidden in one of Miyazaki's own chest boards in Japan or some stupid bullshit like that. It is canon important to the plot. <laughs> or if you want to know the real story to Elden Ring, you have to, I don't know, infiltrate George R. R. Martin's house and slice open his pillow uh, cases because on the inside there's the essential lore written. The trees in the forests are in the forest are alive. They understand human speech and can read minds. This is of no concern to me. What sprites hide along the road leading into the forest? What sprites usually are too shy to show themselves? But if you peep into holes, they might talk to you. I essentially left out the tree trunk part. Either the MOBA or the Pachinko machine is where Sin has his first appearance? Really? There's a single player Guilty Gear MOBA. I mean, I haven't also... The last, like, phases of Blaze Blue I also haven't caught up with. Do you think there's, like, essential Blaze Blue lore in the Gacha game? When I got lost in the forest, a strange little critter had helped me out. You kept killing Kopu Kopu or something. Oh no. The Moggles. God damn it. You wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's just. That wasn't a blunder, Jeremiah. It was just a crucial hint that Game of Thrones takes place in a post-nuclear version of our world and there's still Starbucks. Or at least their cups, which are basically grails now. God damn it. That would actually have been insanely hilarious. How many ethers do I have? Ah, uh, so expensive though. I first want to see what um if there are like any other useful things to buy in here. But let's sell some stuff. I'll keep the blood sword. Always keep a blood sword. 
Starbucks owns the world. It's just that, you know, the White Walkers, they just didn't have their coffee yet. So that's why they were super angry. No one can enter the Great Forest to the east. Sure. Air and Elven. All right. Hey guys, what do you have? Yes. No, no, no. Yes. yes. Cure three! Wall! Oh, I don't really care for Berserk, but y sure. Quarter? Haste two! And old! I don't know what old does, but I like the sound of it. I especially like the sound of haste two, though. Haste two and cure three. Is there also an armor shop? Do you guys have an armor shop? Is he hidden? Are you guys hiding your armor shop? Was he the last dude to open a shop so he ha got the freaking worst real estate? I got a main gauge. Oh, it's a... Right. Um... Sure... They're white walkers because the rich white kids from up north, so probably Seattle, walking to Starbucks to get their pumpkin frap. <laughs> ah, the plot thickens. Just as the vanilla chocolate froth on the delicious, delicious, delicious pumpkin frap. Get the, uh, the ribbon and the, the blood sword all the way down here. Oh, wow. These can go pretty far down. Oh, there he is. Holy shit. It was just right at the start and I was trash talking this dude. Diamond. Uh... Diamond or diamond pult? Also sage, is that not what I'm already wearing? No, it's coronet. And gold pin, obviously. But I have one sage. Um, and then probably just two of these diamond thingies. And then my budget is spent, so... Actually, I can also buy, like, one of these luminous things. Um, sure. Ferrets gets this. Sell all this shit. Also, the wall ring. I didn't really care for the wall ring. Wait, what did I sell? What gave me so much money? It probably was the wall ring. I mean... I'm going to get this, and also this, and... Uh, one more of this, and also... Two of these. I think that was a good decision. <laughs> Okay. I think we're pretty decked out for this forest now. Like, all the best gear, all the new spells. Level 27, we're all 
That wasn't that wasn't English. Uh, let's save. And then let's go into the freaking butter forest. We got like four seconds of this amazing piece of music. Spirit Blast! Oh, why am I doing this? I know the seals. wasn't free real estate. Yeah. But apparently it was, because he actually had the best spot in the whole town. I just missed it. Because I do be an idiot. That is a very well-known fact by now. What? They dropped two ethers! This is a pretty cool song, though. It's pretty good music. Look! The tree branch, it's... It's still a fucking tree branch! Okay, that's what it did. The forest... It's letting us in. I mean, it's still attacking us, though. I wouldn't be too excited. Also, these guys are incredibly annoying. Because they're so difficult to hit. Okay, that also gets rad. I mean, apparently the Lance ability hits um, pretty reliably, so we got that going for us. Holy shit, that gave a lot of money. These forest sprites have a lot of money. <laughs> also mo money lying around in chests. Oh, the mini match knows osmosis. <laughs> These three enemies really rem remind me of Mystic Quest Legends. I didn't know the tree would berserk. No, he minied me. 
That's why he's called a mini mage, not because he's mini. Now I get it. Fuck! Look at small Gallop. I mean, you just have to bonk him. With the anti-horny jail. Mallet. Why that releases you from jail, I have I have no clue. I mean, why that why that makes you big? Oh, I'm very very afraid of the mini boys. Yeah, it's re it really is a mini me. Nice animation. No. I want to keep my MP. Pre empty strike. I see this forest has. Oh, my God, the most annoying enemies. <laughs> Caliph's MP. Okay, also not Ferris's MP, please. That's why they drop ethers. Because holy shit, Gallop only has half his MP now. I'm going to take another very quick bathroom break. Let's see what this hell forest has in store for us after that. I'll be right back. Don't give me the MP suck anymore. Wait, can I go through here? Oh, it's a back attack. Plus no. Most of the time, honestly, back attacks are just... It's just the best idea to run away. No, I think... We have to go down.
Take this! Nice. Just explode that freaking small mage. Wait, where the fuck am I going? <laughs> this really is a where the fuck do I go kind of level. I'm always surprised um, that samurai have so much HP. But I think they're like, they're also tanks in Final Fantasy XIV. I think. So maybe that is just how they are in, in this game. Or in these games in Final Fantasy. I skipped so fast, I didn't see who got a job level. Oh, it wasn't a job level. I guess it was someone else got a level. <laughs> Samurai DPS? Then I'm misremembering. I thought there were very specifically, uh, like, high HP tanks, but I haven't played Final Fantasy XIV in... Oh man, I don't, I don't even know. In a long time. I mean, I liked it. It, it is a very, very good, um, MMO, but I definitely found more more of what I'm looking for in, a, uh, in an MMO in Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, there you see. Oh, it's okay. They only can do high damage. That's what they can do, okay. God damn it. Become an angry tree! Oh. That's terrible, is it not? Oh, it's not terrible, but it's the one we had before. Okay. I feel like I've already gone, like, all around. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> that 
They give a nice chunk of AP. Oh, wait. Can I go in this tree? That's how you do it. Ew. I don't like that visual at all. Let's go with this. Holy shit. I mean, Ferris doesn't really need to hit things, but better safe than sorry. Ran I love I love the random money amounts in the in the chests. Oh fuck no! Nice dodge, Lena. Nice block, Bards. Nice dodge, Lena. There you go. Wait, did I... I think I missed something up there. This place is really fucking with my... Like... Way of going about... Um... Finding, finding stuff in the dungeon. It really isn't really cutting it anymore, I feel like. Oh, but he berserked the mage. That's always the best use of berserk. Am I afraid of the berserked um, mage now? Especially since he seems to be wearing his snugglies, which I can identify with. Like here. There's something. Um, imps? I know I've been talking about, um, Guilty Gear Strife a lot, but why the fuck are they... Are these imps... Turning their back to me like Leo Whitefang? Because that absolutely makes me nervous. Get ready for the four-way mix-up and counter-attack, yeah. 
Honestly, if Leo wasn't a ca if if he didn't have like if he didn't have hold um, hold release moves, he would have been a super cool character for me to play as. Same with Axel, by the way. I just I just hate hold and release moves so much. There we go. Hi. <laughs> I hate it when my... But like my movement is too quick for my... For the game to keep up when... And I, I do something else that I didn't want to. Like my directional input didn't get through so I didn't go down to uh, a different... Uh, attack or something, whatever I was about to do. Also, that was stupid. Why didn't I attack Bards to get him out of confusion? Think we'll finally play online with Potemkin tomorrow? And it's still, it's just it's still just theoretical at this moment. You cannot wait to fight your first Axel. I don't think I have encountered a single Axel. I mean, I haven't played like 24/7, but still. I have not encountered a single Axel. I have not encountered a single Leo, believe it or not. And I have not encountered a single Potemkin. And I've only encountered one Gold Lewis. And no Zado. Half of the cast I haven't fought yet. <laughs> Apparently. Is there like more around here? No, not really. Okay, so this was for a phoenix down. Eh. That's alright. I don't know, I also thought that um, Axel would be more popular, but again, I have not seen a single one. The main characters that I see online are Giovanna, for sure. Um. Yeah, Giovanna. <laughs> Saul. It's a surprising amount of Eno. I haven't seen a lot of Kai's. I'd say that the character that I see the most is definitely Giovanna. Followed by... Uh, by Eno and... Uh, probably also Nago. I see a lot of Nago. Also had one Anji mirror match. Which was pretty cool, honestly. You know, makes sense because reasons, yeah. Also, she is a fun character. I legitimately think she's a fun character. She's not a character that I like to play. Um, 
but I do like a game plan. Oh, a uh, Ramlethal. I also see a bunch of Ramlethals. Which I dislike so very much. It's definitely my least favorite matchup for Anji. I mean, from the ones I have played. <laughs> Which does not include, include like, four characters, apparently. <laughs> oh wait, there's a... There's a hole in that tree. Please, thank you. Apparently, uh, Square dis decided to put all of the, like, terrible enemies in one location. Oh wait, I went right past the hole. The hole in the tree. encounter Marlboro? Yeah, I don't even know in what capacity they're in this game. Oh, maybe that's how you get further. Let's see if there's like some more loot over, over yonder. I mean, I wouldn't complain if they're not in this game. I don't think I'm so lucky, though. <laughs> the first time I played this game, they definitely did not... Um, they definitely did not leave an impression like their Final Fantasy 2 and their Final Fantasy 6 counterparts. That was a necessary crit. But honestly, yeah, I would have liked to never encounter another Marlboro ever again. <laughs> some treasure. It's probably not worth it, but you know. We'll see. But again, we definitely, I mean, not in this forest, but this is the first game with Tonberry, so we have that to look forward to. Yeah, Me Too Business. It's a weird name. I don't even know why they're named that. Probably like Marboro, like a Japanese word that means something else. And when they translated it to English, they were like, ah, let's make one of those R's now.
I, yeah, I heard that the worst in eight. I mean, can't wait to get to that game. <laughs> yeah, right. Mal means bad. You're onto something. Cottage! Who puts an entire cottage in a chest? <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's bro. You know it's bad bro. <laughs> There's just an extra O for reasons. But then I still don't get why they're like disgusting tentacle monsters. Because it's Final Fantasy. <laughs> That actually would be a good reason. What is this? Oh, it's a safe thingy. It looks weird. Ah, let's use that cottage we found. I, I think a tent would have sufficed, but you know. Yeah, they do. They definitely do business. What do you mean it's not obvious that Cura is, uh, the better form of Cure? I thought it was totally obvious. Borrow doesn't happen to mean breath? You know what? That could be it. That could be it. Isn't- isn't that straight up the name of their attack? Is it called Bad Breath? But yeah, it is literally called Bad Breath. I don't even know where Vanille and Penelo are from. I only recognize Midgar of those. Get away, you fucking fly. Get away from my forehead. Don't, don't drink my tasty, tasty sweat. It's mine! Oh, come on. Why are they so dodgy? Dodgy imps. With uh, some serious side boob action, I feel like. Ah, I got something in my eye. Oh, a diamond ring. Um... Oh, there we go. If this hits them, I am annoyed. Okay, it doesn't. Ugh. I need to clean my glasses again, like, real bad. That's, I feel like, the only thing that I don't really, uh, that I still have not really figured out. Like, how and when to clean my glasses. I get, the, I get them clean-ish, but I never get them, like, really, really clean. I have some cloth for it and some thing to spray it on. Um... But also, I feel like I'm doing it not, not, not enough times. 
I'm still very much a new, uh, very much new to wearing glasses, I feel like. Did the stream die? Not on my end. I mean, I guess I can't. I guess he can't see that. Okay, so it's it's headshot. That um that calms me down a little bit. Every time I see something like "Oh my god, stream's dead," I'm like. Is that so? Time to panic then! <laughs> Just like how um, my my stream died uh, when we did the, the Undertale thing. My first Undertale playthrough. And the stream died like seven and a half hours into like into the stream into the game on one of the last bosses and it because my router reset my router did a reset and then i had to wait for like 15 minutes until the stream w was back because i didn't want to call it a night so so uh close to the end of the entire game oh it came back yeah very nice. What the? Oh. I mean, that's a clever idea. Just burn down the entire forest. If you only want to get one tree. Oh no. X Death is setting the forest on fire. Where the fuck do I go? Up here? Ooh, I want that though. Can I get that? Nope. It gets past the fire. Oh! Moogle! Underground Moogle coming to save me like a fat ass bumblebee. Nice green sneakers. I never really noticed that. Let's hide out here until the flames die down. Just some sad Koopo noises. So, uh, what do you guys do down here all day in your private hot spring? Okay. Enough conversation topic, I guess. How come it's still green in the battle screen, though? What would you do if you lived literally in a hot spring? I don't know, man. Probably wishing I had an AC unit. <laughs> it's a gala jelly business. Uh, it clearly says at the bottom. 
But yeah, I have no fucking clue what it's supposed to be. It's a uh, nature swirls. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a flame shield. The flame shield was in that chest. Could have been useful like literally two minutes earlier. Oh, it's pretty sexy actually. What a sexy, sexy shield. Uh, where the fuck do I go now? I do like that they drop ethers. Okay, I'm cool. I'm going this way now. Actually, X Death did me a real, a real solid because now it's incredibly easy to see where you have to go. So uh, thanks, buddy. I mean, there definitely were too many leaves in this forest. I always thought that. Oh, give me that. Oh, it actually does something. Oh. It can't equip by can't be equipped by anyone, so I guess it's it really is just ash. <laughs> left, huh? You know what? Let's just do it. I really like in this game when you get like attacked from the back or you change rows mid-fight that it doesn't keep that change. Because in Final Fantasy 3 especially, but also in every other game that features rows, I so often did not remember to put the rows back after a fight. Oh, okay. Flame tongue? What's this? Oh, it's a sword that can only be used by a knight. I don't have one of those, though. Let's see what Bio does.
Oh no. No, Mini Lena. Small Lena does zero damage. Let's just cure all of this. What's that? That is, wow, that is 100% the exact same sprite uh, as it is in Mystic Quest Legends. The Guardian Tree, that's what protects the seal. Look, the branch. I've seen this once in Zelda, uh, there was a huge spider in there. I don't like spiders, so... Exactly, Jeremiah. <laughs> that was what I was thinking. Um... What are those things? Those must be whatever sealed in here. It's, uh, things. Here they come! Oh, it's uh, it's ice crystals. Let me guess, you can't just uh, blast them with like multi-hitting spells. It would be too easy. Cause why not? Uh, you know what? Let's try. Let's try. We got these very fresh. Okay, all but one of them took damage from that. Oh, probably each one has like one element, I guess? We need an enemy for the tree, but I clock out in 12 minutes! I got it, what if, what, what if crystals pluge? Brilliant. Um, you know what? Let's just use... That's what this boy's here for. Protect us, Golem! Oh, Haste. Haste 2. Yes! Haste 2 is just... a life-saving spell. Titan, maybe? I think Titan does, uh, like, normal damage, like, physical damage. I could be wrong about that. I probably am. I am. one. I hope I don't have to kill these, like, at the same time. Or something stupid like that. That didn't do any damage.
Can I do a uh, wall? Not to all. <laughs> wall to all. Bio? I don't know. Seems like spells don't work anymore. Golem is so good. It's such a good spell. I'm afraid of that. Oh, wait! Yep. Wall is... Uh, playing around wall is so bad in this game. I, I just can't do it. I can't wrap my head around it. Oh, but I think it's gone now. Lena's glowing uh, orange now. Not green. Yikes. I mean, I could just throw money at them. That is always, always a valid option. With a samurai in the party. Even though also that, I still don't get. Why they just throw money and why does it do so, so, so much damage. Kinda is. If you have enough money, um, samurais are easily the best party member to have. Also because it hits everyone on screen. Having a uh, guild toss in the in the last couple of fights is definitely of huge help, especially at the very end boss because he does have multiple hit zones. I mean, this fight was was not so bad, apparently. Golem took care of most of it, honestly. Golem's definitely the MVP here. I mean, who knows? It's not over yet. Oh, nice crit. Oh, we got another Ash. Sweet. Just what I always wanted. Such efficient work. As if anything less could be expected of the bearers of the crystal's power. Well done. You've destroyed the seals. 
I suppose I should thank you for saving me the trouble. I love how he just casually walks in from off screen. <laughs> he doesn't teleport in. It's not a rift that opens in reality that unleashes him. He just casually strolls in from the side. Next death! How ironic. The seal's broken by the power of the four warriors meant to protect them. What? They were crystals. The crystals which bound me for so long. Now, their power is mine. Bow down before my crystals and my power! I mean, that's not really a bow, though. Oh, now we come to an actually sort of emotional moment. Right, this is here. My heart is pounding. Something must have happened to Grandpa. What? Then the Forest of more? Come on, let's go! Frickin' Drake, be useful! Time for your viscera to see the light of day. Now die. Grandpa! Oh, Bart Slender Ferris! Mother frickin' Kryl saves the frickin' day. Kryl? Ex death. Don't worry. He shouldn't be doing anything for a while. Oh. Impudent little fool. Hey, what are you? Lady, what did you think he was going to do? Grandpa! Now get lasered! So certain you want to keep moving, Gallif. Try to dispel this power, and your precious crystals will shatter. Trial! Well, there goes one. Next death! I mean, I have nothing to attack you with, except this heal staff. <laughs> because I'm the party's white mage. Um, and I have no MP. Take this. Level 63. Awesome music, though. Also cool sprite. I hope I don't have to do damage. Honestly, I don't remember. Because I, I don't. I can't. And I really don't want to, like, waste ether on this. Maybe I do, maybe I do need to do that, though. Can I... Uh, items, equipment. Can I de-equip this? What a foresight in programming.
Yeah, they probably didn't expect Galif to be the healer in most parties. Fine. I mean, but it can't be possible that you can soft lock here, right? If I didn't have a uh, comet, I wouldn't be able at all to do damage. I mean, you can buy ethers for an okay amount, so I guess I have to live with that. I love how X Death just stands there with like a hand on his hip. Nice, nice quarter attack. You have to deal damage. Okay, that's kind of weird because that means in theory you can soft lock here, right? You can have easily a character that does not have any damaging capabilities. Maybe you can somehow remove the healing staff and then you could attack with, uh... Then you could attack with the fists. Maybe I'm just too stupid to remove the frickin... Um... The frickin... Staff, the healing staff. Ice Flare, dude. Didn't even do that much more damage than your other spells. <laughs> Meaty that, however, did a shit ton. Why won't you die? This dialogue's too fast. All the hatred it existed would never be enough to defeat me. <sighs> but what about if I channel the anger of hitting my little toe on some furniture? Maybe that will be enough. It's, I'm hoping I don't have to spend another ether on this. And what? Hey, we did it. Game's over. X death is defeated. Congrats, everyone. Regroup next week. No, I'm just kidding. Well, great. Everyone still lives. We can leave. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh. Okay. Maybe not all live. No good. It's too late for me. Galif, don't talk like that. Get up, you old boat. Quit playing around. This isn't funny. 
Wake up. Wake up, please. Bart. Lana Ferris. My dear Kryl. Next death. Next death. Destroy. Him. Grandpa, no! You can't die, you can't! Galif, cure! Please, raise! Open your eyes! Phoenix down, elixir, anything! Please don't waste my elixirs. Galif's flame is flickered out. He's just gone, dude. He has achieved super death. A death that you can't even cure with rays. Yeah, this is not like, um... The characters that die in Final Fantasy 2, or Teller in Final Fantasy 4. Um... This is a legit... I mean, these characters are still, like, at a kind of basic level. But I mean, we spent fucking 18 and a half hours with this dude. And now he's just gone. This to me is the first time that Final Fantasy really nailed like the emotional moment. Not to the intensity that it would bring in Final Fantasy VI. But this moment, at least for me, it doesn't miss his mark. Uh, he's just gone. Good old Galif. One of our party members is just gone. Also, we're going to leave his granddaughter here because she doesn't want to come with me. Okay, now she does, I guess. Grandpa's calling. Oh, there she goes. Cryer. Oh, Grandpa? It's a headset. <laughs> The Guardian Tree, which has protected the crystals for a thousand years, is letting me borrow its power to speak to you. I don't have long. I want to give you my strength. Come on, Cryo. Don't cry. Stand with Bart and the others. Be strong. And fight. No, you do it. Come back. Don't leave me alone. You know I can't do that. But you're not alone, Cryo. You understand that, don't you? Cryo received Galuf's abilities. I'll be in your heart, always. Obviously, gameplay-wise, in the how this game is structured, with the job system, he can't just be gone and you have to start building up a new character from scratch, so... Gameplay-wise, this actually has, like, no repercussions. It's just a palette swap. Just a sprite swap. But still, I mean, this character's just gone now. After more than 18 hours of playtime. This comes relatively late in the game. I think for a few people that originally played this, this definitely was a shock. Cryo. Bart, Lena, Ferris, I'll fight along with you. Grandpa told me that right now, x -Death is trying to destroy the crystals. We've got to hurry to x -Death's castle.
The Wind Drake. Alright. Also, this game really keeps this moment very quiet. There she is! Look at her! She even gets the cat ears when she's a white mage! Obviously, I'm going with that. Time as, a, as an ability. Uh, no, not the morning star, the healing staff, please. I kind of, I kind of need that. Uh, where the fuck do I go now? All oh, right, Xdeath's castle, which is over there. But I do want to save. I'm not going to do uh, the castle tonight. Because that dungeon, I think, is pretty long. So I just want to get to an inn. Uh, we are rest up, at least. Except for... Uh, for for Cry's MP. Which is four. Oh, and Ferris's MP. Weird. It healed us, but it doesn't give us full MP. But yeah, just a nice place to save. And then we can tackle the castle next time. Wait, where the fuck? Can I not get in there? Without going through the, the tunnel? I guess I can't. Oh wait, can I kind of fly past here? The werewolf town. I don't know why I'm so determined to get yeah to this place of all places, but yeah, okay. Let's save. No, no more Gallif. But yeah, this is a good place to stop before we uh, get into Xdeath's castle again, which we will do next Thursday. But on Sunday, that's the next big thing, we will continue playing Okami because that game is really getting near its end and it, I really want to finish that game. It's been, I think it's becoming my longest playthrough so far. And yeah, in just a few weeks time, like two and a half weeks it's my birthday and i'm going to do a long stream for my birthday again as i did last year um this time on the exact date because it is the saturday the 28th um i still haven't 100 percent decided what i'm going to play but probably ukulele i'm re I i'm really uh liking the idea of streaming ukulele for like eight hours or so on my birthday but that might change uh, the closer we get to it. So yeah, thanks all so much for being here, for sticking with Final Fantasy, I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful start of your weekend. Hope to see you on Sunday. Jeremiah, enjoy the beginning of your vacation soon. And yeah, stay safe everyone, stay healthy, and bye-bye. <laughs>